Hello, and welcome back to The Connect. Today, we are going to be talking about healthy living and choices. My name is Anna Mays, and I'm a school social worker with four elementary schools in the Hunters Lane and the Gavit clusters. Today, we'll be talking about the importance of taking care of both our bodies and our minds so that we can feel our best, both physically and mentally. One aspect of healthy living and choices is taking care of our body. We can do that through healthy sleeping habits. Studies have shown that getting enough sleep has several positive impacts, physically and mentally, for children and teens. Helping us have better attention, memory, and behavior are some of them. When we feel rested and energized starting our day, it helps the whole day be better. But what's the right amount of sleep? Recommendations vary by age group, and some experts say that children ages 3 to 5 need about 10 to 13 hours of sleep each day. Children to teens 6 to 13 years old should get about 9 to 12 hours of sleep each day. And teenagers 14 to 18 years old should get between 8 and 10 hours of sleep. In order to get a good night's sleep, Make sure you take about the hour before bed to relax and feel more calm. Going to bed at a similar time each night helps make sure that you get enough sleep consistently. Be sure to turn off electronic devices at least 30 minutes to an hour before bedtime. The blue light from phones, TVs, and tablets can make it harder for your brain to relax and wind down before bed. Be sure to brush and floss your teeth as a part of your bedtime routine, as well as brushing your teeth in the morning after breakfast before school. Another way we can take care of our body is through eating smart. Having a healthy diet by eating fruits, vegetables, lean meats, whole grains, and foods rich in fiber help us feel our best. Fiber is found naturally in many fruits and vegetables and fiber-rich foods are loaded with vitamins and nutrients. Some examples of fiber-rich foods include apples, oranges, pears, berries, nuts, beans, peas, and whole grains. Another way to take care of our body is through exercise and getting moving. Many kids are already experts at moving. They run, jump, climb, and play. So adding regular exercise is a natural next step for many kids and teens to tackle. Exercise, it seems like play, is a fun way to encourage kids and teens to be active. And it doesn't take a whole lot. You can play in the backyard, your neighborhood, the playground, or a park nearby. Exercise should include elements of flexibility, strength, and endurance. Be sure to stretch and warm up before and after exercise, as well as having water nearby so you can stay safe, hydrated, and have fun. Getting involved in extracurricular activities is another way to have fun, exercise, and be active while spending time with classmates and friends. Some extracurricular activities include sports, like soccer, running, swimming, basketball, something related to music like marching band, or other activities like dance, or other activities that get your body moving. Another aspect of healthy living and choices is taking care of our mind. It is important to spend time with family and friends so that we can build relationships that encourage us, build us up, and we can encourage those people we care about as well. Open communication is helpful for us to talk about good things and tough things that we go through in life with people that we trust. Another way we can take care of our mind is through calming strategies, things that help us feel more relaxed if we feel stressed, worried, or upset. 
Some examples of calming strategies can include deep breathing, yoga, taking a break, going on a walk, or talking with a trusted person. Another aspect of taking care of our minds is responsible device use, meaning our cell phones, laptops, and tablets. When we limit our time extracurricularly on some of these devices, it helps us be intentional and present with the people we're with in person. We'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at MNPS Social Work and at MNPS Trauma Team.